afternoon, everybody. A very warm welcome to the Sonic Lab. Um, today's guest is uh, one of the uh, most often heard and enjoyed jazz uh, musicians on the Northern Ireland circuit, and uh, he brings with him a guest. So we're very excited about that. First, can I just mention uh, that the fire exits are there and at the back, the door you came in through, and ask you to turn anything off on your person that might be likely to make a noise. Um, and can I welcome anybody who's joining us from the live stream and uh, just say that if you are here, of course, in the hall, you can still go home and enjoy the recording, which will appear on uh, the Queen's website, the AEL part of it subsequently, um, which gives us a great chance to uh, uh, have the best of both worlds, the live event and then the uh, revisiting. So I hope that you can do that. And if you're watching us from afar, I hope you enjoy it. Um, I'm delighted to, to welcome today's guest. Can I just finally mention before doing so that next week uh, we have star instrumentalists of a different sort in the hearty room. Uh, we have Ben Goldscheider on the horn, who is probably the most celebrated young horn player uh, well, in Europe, I suppose, at the moment. Um, he's won everything you can think of, and he's still in his 20s, and is a remarkable instrumentalist. And he's joined by pianist and composer Hugh Watkins, who's a frequent visitor to our concerts, and one of uh, the leading British composers. So do please join us for Ben Goldscheider and Hugh Watkins next Thursday in the Hearty Room. But now please join me in welcoming Scott Flanagan and Rob Love. Hello, good afternoon. It's very early for jazz. Um, I was playing in Ronnie Scott's club until about 1 a.m. this morning, and that's on a different body of land to where we are today. So um, cut me some slack. We're going to play some of my favorite uh, standards for you, and also this program of music by Thelonious Monk and Paul Motion, who was a great American drummer who played with Bill Evans, Keith Jarrett, Jan Garbarek, and lots of other jazz legends. And we're going to start uh, with one of the aforementioned standards that I love. This is um, the theme tune from the 1950s American movie Samson and Delilah. And it was played by Clifford Brown, the trumpet player. It's called Delilah. Thank you very much. How about Scott Flanagan on the piano?
Thank you all very much. Um, good to see so many people here today. I very much appreciate you all coming out. Um, what about this incredible guitarist joining me on the stage? Rob Loft on the guitar. Uh, myself and Rob have played together about once a year for the last four, five years. Anyway, we've played together a handful of times since then. And uh, a couple of years ago, I think it was in 2019, we managed to do a 35-day tour uh, across England. 45? I didn't get called for those last 10. <laughs> uh, um, we did a tour of uh, England, Wales, and bizarrely Germany um, without a single date over here. So I have to make amends for that. Uh, on that gig, we played the music of John Coltrane and Thelonious Monk. And throughout the tour, we made it our mission to play every single Thelonious Monk tune that there was, including a very dodgy Christmas tune, um, which we are not going to play today. Uh, but playing through so many of the tunes really showed me you know, the, the breadth of Monk as a composer. Uh, he wrote some absolutely wonderful tunes, and some of them are really, really well-known, and we'll play one later. But this one is slightly less well-known. It's called Light Blue. Thank you. 
Yeah, it's very fun to play the music of Monk uh, in this setting. Monk never played with a guitarist in his lifetime, apart from in jam sessions very early on when he was a youngster at, um, in the sort of late 30s and uh, early 40s in New York City. He used to play in passing with Charlie Christian, a great electric guitarist, but he never really worked with guitar afterwards, so it's very refreshing for us to play his music with these two instruments. It's like a little mini orchestra. At least we think it is in our heads. I don't know what it sounds like out there. Um, we're going to touch on the other composer in this um, set that we're focusing on. His name is Paul Motion, uh, and he was this American drummer of Armenian heritage, and um, he was kind of the opposite of Monk, really. Monk wrote every, all 72 compositions that Thelonious wrote were in between the years of 1944 to 1948. He never wrote a song again and then toured until the early 70s. Um, uh, until just before his death, he, he, um, he was playing the same music. Whereas Paul Motion started as a sideman playing with Bill Evans, playing with loads of jazz greats. And then uh, when he was about 45, 46 years old, Keith Jarrett gave him a piano and said, hey, write some music, you've got a good ear. Um, and it's unusual for a drummer in jazz to be you know, considered a really important composer. I don't want to sound prejudiced or anything, um, but um, Paul is an exception to that rule. And his music is really universal and beautiful and evocative of um, many different styles. Um, and I would... I would, I would um, what else to say, really? This is a piece of his called Mandeville. He recorded it uh, with his trio with Bill Frizzell, a great American guitar player who I really adore. And this, yes, th the title of this set we're doing is Monk in Motion. And there is a Paul Motion album called Monk in Motion where he plays his own music with Thelonious Monk. la di da di da That's the backstory. Here's Mandeville. Goodbye.
Uh, thank you. That was called Mandeville. And it's certainly one of the first times I've ever played a tune where at the top the musical direction says country slash surf rock. Um, we're going to follow that up now with um, a tune by a different wonderful jazz guitarist who's not Rob Loft. Uh, this is by Jim Hall. It's called Waltz New. We decided this morning, this afternoon, not that long ago, that we would play this tune. So if we do make any mistakes, just ask for your money back on the way out. Thank you. Yeah, uh, Rob was just saying the horn player next week will absolutely get it right. So come along next week to hear how it should sound.
Scott Flanagan. Yeah. Back to Monk. Back to Thelonious Sphere Monk. And this is his most famous piece, which um, I'm sure some of you, many of you might recognize. Um, there was a film named after it, and it's called Round About Midnight. I think we should rename it today to Roundabout Midday. It's far too early in the day to be playing this piece. It's, uh, it's a very um, evocative, smoky, jazz club kind of ballad, but we're going to transport ourselves about 12 hours in the future. Uh, at least in my head, I'm still kind of jet-lagged, having come straight here from the world of London jazz. Uh, <laughs> and uh, yeah, as I say, Monk uh, kind of took the credit for this piece, but it was actually composed largely by a trumpet player in Duke Ellington's big band, uh, whose name is Cootie Williams, or was Cootie Williams, and the intro, the outro, parts of the tune were also composed by Dizzy Gillespie. Um, so, yeah, it's kind of strange, really, that people, uh, as, you know, attribute this to Monk, um, but, you know, that's what happened in jazz. Everyone took the credit for the other stuff, you know. So watch out, Scott. I'm coming for your hits. I'm coming for your hits. Um, here's round about midnight, thank you. Thank you. 
true jazz, in true jazz fashion, we've not decided what our last tune is. Um, but I think it's going to have to be another one by the great, the late, great Paul Motion. And um, this is his kind of one of his, this is harking back to his Armenian heritage. And uh, you can really hear the Middle Eastern sound in this composition, I think, uh, deep down. And um, yeah, it's called It Should Have Happened a Long Time Ago. It comes from an album uh, from the mid 80s, again with the great Bill Frizzell on guitar. And um, I'll be doing my best impression of him as we play this next piece. And uh, it just remains for me to say thank you, everyone here, for having us. Thank you for your ears. Thank you for the wonderful sound. And uh, of course, thank you to the local boy come good, Mr. Scott Flanagan on the piano. And of course, he flew in from London this morning. He's literally going from here to the airport very shortly to fly back. So he's literally here just for you guys. Please show your appreciation for Rob Loft on the guitar. Thank you. If you, any of you still remember what CDs are, I have about four of them left in my bag. Please help me uh, beat the Ryanair um, baggage restrictions and take them off my hands before I go back to George Best Airport in about 15 minutes. Um, yes, uh, here we go. This is the last song before the encore.
Scott Flanagan.